Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be doing is, could Hippopotamid could survive on Skull Island? We'll start with the living and extinct Hippopotamus species. So let's get started, shall we? Hexaprotodon, their habitat, they will live in wetlands rivers, and lakes. And for their diet, well, it is not known what they are, eat. They're herbivores. Hippopotamus antiquus. For their habitat, rivers, lakes, and for their diet, they prefer aquatic plants. Cretan Dwarf Hippo For their habitat They would live in Rivers and, and Lakes Well they have Well they are suggested to be terrestrial Primarily walking on hooves Rather than on footpaths As living hippos and they are capable of traversing their rugged terrain. And for their diet, similar to modern hippos. Hippopotamus gorgops. For their habitat, they will live in lakes, rivers. And for their diet, a mix of including browse and grass and they have elevated orbits have led to suggestion of a more aquatic lifestyle than hippopotamus though its robust limbs indicate that it's probably capable of moving officially on land like the modern hippo And they are large, and they're and with their estimated weight of body mass, four thousand kilograms, eight thousand eight hundred pounds. But they have the watch of predators like Piranodon, V-Rex, and Photodon. But Hippos are very extremely aggressive to anything that perceives as a threat. Lemurals Dwarf Hippopotamus They lived in rivers and lakes and for their diet consist of less grass specialized than mainland African hippos. Madagascar dwarf hippo and for their habitat was seemingly less aquatic in forested highlands. And for their diet, well, it is unknown what they eat. Assumably similar to the mainland African hippo. And Hippopotamus melitensis. It had limbs more adapted to terrestrial locomotion and traverse more efficiently apparent terrain such as rocky outcrops and hills in search of food and this hippo was more uh, generalistic than its Sicilian relatives and its diet F
Hippopotamus Minor for their habitat. It was more of a terrestrial animal. And for their diet, it was a And it has taken browsing niche. And for hippopotamus penalty. And for their diet. Consists of grazing behavior. for their habitat hmm it is unknown what their habitat is probably the same as their terrestrial hippopotamus and hippopotamus itself and they are semi-aquatic and require enough water to immerse in while being more close to grass, they are mostly they mostly live in freshwater habitat, but can be found in estuaries. They prefer relatively still water with gently sloping shores. Though male hippos may also be found in very small numbers in rapid waters, with more rocky slopes. Like most herbivores. Hippos will consume a variety of plants if persistent. And for their diet on grass and consumption of aquatic plants, hippos spend most of the day in water to stay cool and hydrated. Just before night begins, they leave the waters to forage on land. A hippo will travel three and a half five kilometers or nine point one point nine to three point one miles per night, eating around forty kilograms eighty eight pounds of grass. By dawn they are back in the water. Now, despite being aquatic semi aquatic, an adult hippo is not particularly a good swimmer, nor nor can nor it float. It rarely enters in deep water. When it does, the animal moves by bouncing off the bottom. An adult hippo surface every four to six minutes while young need to breathe every two to three minutes. Hippos move on land by trotting, and limb movement do not change between speeds. They can be off. They can reach airborne stage, a stage when a, when all limbs are off the ground, when they move fast enough. Hippos are reported to reach 30 kilometers per hour, 19 miles per hour, but. This is, has not been confirmed. They are incapable of jumping, but can walk up to step banks. And on occasion, hippos have been filmed eating carrion, usually near water. There are other reports of meat eating and even cannibalism and predation. Hippo's stomach's anatomy lacks adaptation to carnivory and meat eating is likely caused by lack of nutrients or just an abnormal behavior. But they have natural predators. Now crocodiles would hunt 
a calf, hippo, if separated from their mother. Lions spotted hyenas. But on Skull Island, they have to watch out for predators much, much bigger, like Pteranodon, V-Rex, and like I said before, hippos are very aggressive, and they will attack if provoked. And hippopotamuses have a low birth rate, giving birth to a single calf every two years on average. This is due to the cost of raising young, and hippos usually mate every other year. And their gestation period for hippos is around eight months. And hippos mate and give birth to in the water, and calves are sometimes born underwater. And protection. After birth, the mother and the ca calf join other cows and calves for protection from predators. And young hippos are not weaned for almost another year after birth. Hippos generally breed, but birth rates are lower in the wild. This is partly because zoos went to limit birth to keep costs down. And the pygmy hippo for their habitat, swamps, wallows, or rivers, and sometimes in hollow under the banks of streams. And for their diet, exclusively vegetation feeding on leaves, roots of forest plants, including semi aquatic plants and forest herbs, as well as fallen fruits, and for their birth rate, the gestation period have period is around 187 to 214 days. Litter size. Pygmy hippos typically give birth to one calf at a time, but twins are sometimes born. And for their re reproductive rate, pygmy hippos have a slow reproductive rate and can potentially reproduce every 16 months. And that's it for the could hippo it could hippos survive on Skull Island. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Like and subscribe, and see you later.